Hi guys, welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and we're designingtechtips.com. Well, we've got one for you today. We've just demonstrated this with the Divi theme and somebody was asking if we could do it with Elementor. The answer is yes, and it's really easy. We've got an image there when you hover over it. It's got a zoom in icon box with a link. Like I say, really easy to do. We've got to do a bit of CSS coding for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any code I write, I'll put below the video here. If you enjoy this video today, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let's me know whether to make more videos on a specific topic or not. Okay, well, let's get started. I've got this page open, and I've got a row with three columns in it. Let's Go ahead and work on this one over here. I'm going to drag an icon box in there. Now I'm going to presume that you've got the free version of Elementor for this today. And down the bottom, in the general, you'll find an icon box. First thing it'll prompt you to do is update the icon. There's plenty to choose from here. Put in whatever icon you want. You can do a search up there or check them out manually going to insert that one great I just want to add read more at the bottom now there's no way of actually separating this like a regular text box so I'm going to put a couple of bits of code in there and it's left pointy bracket BR right pointy bracket for break and that'll switch it to a new line if you want to give it some more space just copy that or type it again right after itself and you can drop it down a bit further. Great. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a bit of padding all around. So I'm going to go to the advanced tab. Here's padding. I'm going to give it, say, 20 pixels all around. That's fine. And I want to give it a background. So while we're here, let's give it a background. I'm going to hit the little paintbrush icon there. And I'm going to give it a black color. But I, I'm going to put an image behind it, so I want to see a bit of the image. So I'm going to put the opacity, this bottom slider right here, down about halfway, so something like that. You can always adjust it later on. That way, the writing will stand out better against the image when we put it in there. And speaking of writing, I want to change the color to everything so we can see it. So if I go to the Style tab, Icon, make that one white, top left and the content similar. There's the title. And let's make the description so we can see it. There we go. There's the description. Great. So if you watch any of these before of mine, you'll realize that these hover effects with the image to text, the image actually resides in the column behind there. So we'll put the image in. Before I do, I'm just going to up the padding on this a little bit so it's similar to the one on the left. So again, I want to go over to my Advanced tab. I'm going to up that to 30. There we go. That's a similar size to this one there. Great. And let's bring that heading down to a size where it fits inside. I don't want it to break. So if we go to our content, to our heading, typography bring the size down to something like that that's great okay well let's put our image in the column to do that we want to hover over the dark little tab there which is for the column as you can see each of these columns has one now the first thing I want to do is go to the advanced make sure there's no padding anywhere put a zero in there make sure the chains linked and I'm going to give it 15 pixels all round margin. That will give it separation if we've got three of those going on. There we go. Now let's put our background in. So if we go over to style, down to background, hit the little paintbrush. We can put an image in right here, just hit the little plus sign. Choose whatever image it is you want to put in there. And you can have it center, top, bottom, right, left, all the usual things. Don't want it to scroll or be fixed. I'm going to leave it as it is. 
don't want it to repeat so I'm going to have no repeat but I do want it to cover the whole area there we go we've got more of the image and as you can see you can see the image there but you can also read the writing because we put that background color in okay well let's do what we've got to do to make this shrink and disappear okay to make this happen we need to go back into our module and give it a class name so into the module to the advanced tab CSS classes you'll find down here let's give it a name I'm going to call it IM for image ZM for zoom call yours what you will but it does want to be unique and it wants to mean something to you so we've got a class name there it's now got a handle by which we can style it now if you're using the pro version of Elementor you can put your custom CSS in here I'm going to presume you've got the free version so we can go to our customizer and to get to the customizer go down to your dashboard appearance customize and you'll find the additional CSS panel right at the bottom right here and here we can write our code and we'll give it a title forward slash star star forward slash anything written between the stars will not be read as code So what do we want it to do? Well, the first thing we've got to call the class name. All class names have to have a dot or period. So dot or period, and then the class name. Now, before you do this, you want to make sure you've updated anything that you've done on your page down here. To hit the update button so everything's as it should be. So we've got the class name. We'll open and close some curly brackets. And what do we want to do? Well, the first thing I want to do is scale it down so we can have it zooming in. So transform, go on scale, and then we open some round brackets. So we'll say 0.7, 70%. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is copy control C, paste it below. Then just after the M of zoom right there, I'm going to put colon and the word hover. And we'll create a hover state so when we're hovering over it I want it to be regular size so I'm going to make that one and one okay so it's going to go from this to this and the time I want it to take to do that I want to slow it down quite a lot so in the regular state right here we've got a semicolon next line of code transition duration and it's prompted this down there I'm going to say 0.7 seconds have it as slow or as fast as you want there we are that's a lot more gradual now of course I don't want to see it at all when we're not hovering over it so let's add another line opacity zero invisible And when we hover over it, we want to be totally visible. So opacity one. There we go. And that gives it that sort of zoom in effect right there. And it's still being governed by the transition duration 0.7 seconds. As I say, I'll put all this code down below. You're welcome to use it however you wish. So there we have it. Let's publish our changes here. Let's go to the page and refresh. There's our image. When we hover over it, it's going to take 0.7 of a second to zoom in like that. And that's a nice little effect to have on your site. There it is there's an image to zoom in icon module now if you wanted to add a link like we did with this one simply go back in into the module itself into the content down here and you can simply add a link down here put in whatever the URL is update now we've got a link here and how easy was that? 
Well, there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.